G'day guys and welcome back to another Cisco video. Today we're going into some details and some questions on configuring RIP and RIP version 2. Nice little diagram below and we'll get stuck in the questions. <sighs> Starting with 3.30, your manager is thinking about upgrading from RIP version 1 to version 2 and asks about the benefit of RIP version 2. What would you say? We've got uh, maximum hops of 30 um, updates every 90 seconds is classful supports vlsm so we understand that both of them support 30 hops um, one is class for one is classless um, and the updates are pretty similar so with that in mind the answer here is d uh, one does not support vlsm so uh that's the benefit there. 335, uh, 331, which routing protocol sends the entire routing table to neighboring routers every 30 seconds? OSPF, RIP, IGRP, EIGRP, uh, as discussed before. And as you may have seen in the last video, the answer is B, RIP. That's a uh, protocol that does it every 30 seconds. 332, you wish to see how RIP has been configured on the router. What command would you use? So we've got show IP config, show protocols, show root protocols, show IP protocols. All right here. So we're in the config mode and not global config mode, but we're in the ability to be able to see bits and pieces. Um, the answer for this one is D, show IP protocols. That's simply the command to uh, get the information uh, required there. 333, when looking at the routing table, how do you know what, which entire entries have been learned through RIP. So we got entry code of R, C, RIP, and 1. I'll give you the answer to this one, so write memory uh, learning one. Uh, the answer is A, which is R. That's the entry code. 334, what version of RIP supports VLSM? We got RIP version 1, version 2, version 8, version 9. Uh, as discussed before in, in the benefits, uh, that's RIP version 2, which supports uh, VLSM. Uh, we've got what command enables RIP debugging. We've got RIP debug, debug RIP, debug IP RIP, and we've got enable debug. Um, so this one, we'll just be reading the textbook and knowing, yeah, I suppose just by memory. Uh, the syntax for this is C, uh, debug IP RIP to bring up that information. Got a big one here. You need to configure RIP version two on your router, which of the following commands would do this. So we've got four um, possible combinations there. Um, so what I'll do, I'll, if you guys need a moment to read that, you feel free to pause the video and I'll give you the answer then explain it. So the answer for this question is B. Use following commands, so a router rip, and then set the networks there in the router, and the final line sets um, the version. So if you see in the other ones, you're not um, in A, you're not in the right mode to begin with, which uh, isn't ideal, then um, yeah, B is the correct way of doing it. There's no setting what version it is here. That's setting it at the wrong area. So syntactically, that's the most correct. Getting it so in global configuration mode, getting into the, the um, router config with um, that command there, setting out the subnets there, defining the version at the end is the syntactically correct way to do it. 337, what is the default administrative distance for RIP? We've got 90, 100, 120, 150. I think we might have covered this in the last one. Um, and this is just a numerical value. Obviously, 120 is the answer. C. Got another big one. Uh, you have three interfaces on the router and one configured for the 27 network, while the other two interfaces are configured with 29. 16 subnet, 29.2, 16 subnet. If you want to use root version two, which of the following represents the least number of commands you would need to use? So again, I'll give you a sec to pause this and have a read over it and then um, have a crack at it. So uh, in this case, the answer is D. So we've got, um, we're just in normal mode. Enable gets us into a configurable mode, configure the terminal, gets us into global configuration mode, router rip, will then get us to configure some router, router settings. Um, then we put the networks in there, 27, 29, and then define the version at the end. Uh, being that it is class full, uh, the one doesn't need to, um, the one and the two don't need to be specified um, there, which, which is good. So just um, due to the way uh, rap, uh, RIP version two is sort of the way it works kind of thing. Uh, 
So remember, classless and class full. Class full is number one, classless is number two. So you don't have to um, put the ones there, just uh, the subnets there. 339, which of the following is true about ripping? We got A, you need to enable ripping on each interface. Ripping uses broadcast traffic to share routing information. Ripping is classful. Uh, ripping supports up to 30 hops. All right, so we know RIP version one and version two support 30. It doesn't necessarily mean this is the case. And um, I think, yeah, to make it, um, I suppose, compatible with IPv6, um, it is A, you need to enable ripping on each interface. 340, you want to disable sending RIP messages on interface serial 01. Which of the following commands would you use? We got passive interface serial 01, passive serial interface serial 01, passive interface serial 01. Yeah, so all in different types of modes. Um, all right. So if we want to change a network thing, we've got to be in a network kind of environment. Uh, that's global config mode. That's uh, pre global config mode. That's generic. Um, I've got to remember the exact names for it, but uh, the answer here is B. Config router, passive dash interface zero one. So just a matter of knowing the syntax and knowing where you need to be to uh, put down the right commands. Three, four, one, when RIP has multiple routes on uh, to a destination with the same hop count, what will do? But RIP uses the one with administrative distance of 120, uh, use load balancing the links to the destination, uh, use the second route on the table, use the first route on the table, Okay, so in this situation, RIP will use load balance the links to that destination. Um, so the answer there is B. And that's uh, all, folks. Thanks heaps for watching, and feel free to subscribe. This video helped you out. Uh, like the video, enjoy my, join my mailing list as well. I'll let you know when videos come out. You can also tick the bell. All those good things. Website's there. Thanks heaps for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next video.